Alright, so this box doesn't matter right now. It's moving. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it back to where it's <coughs> close by, that's all. But this box actually doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, it's the other box that's interesting and how it works with this box. So let me go out and grab a core and we'll go and check out the other box. Now, for those of you like me who have re-outfitted uh, or redone hangers tons of times or that are interested in modular designs, in that, you know, you have a ship that can perform multiple roles depending on what it carries, etc. You'll like this. Alright, so, step one, figure out what ships you want to carry. Step two, build yourself a hangar, like this. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop the doors, so you can take a look in here. Okay. So right now I've just got three of my little shuttles. Yep. For demonstration purposes. Um, but if we imagine that the black box, right, is the hang or the uh, is another ship, a full-on, you know, large ship or whatever that carries other. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yep. All I have to do is come up here. The doors are on this box, so I don't have to fight with them here. Oh, that's And I can re-outfit this with anything I want and literally just have the hangar modules hanging out so, so that whenever hanger. I need to switch it out. A modular hangar unit. Yep, exactly. I like that. Oh, that's beautiful. You wouldn't even know. Nah, not if you do it right. Looking at, <laughs> looking at it, there's a tiny, like less than a block gap. It actually looks really cool. It's a really nice effect because you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, if you do it with ice crystal, it'll look even better. Wow. Was my thought, but I haven't gotten that far. Again, this is the concept <coughs> phase, so it's really not pretty up. I that's, just decided so it might work and yeah. That's awesome. Well, there you go. So thanks very much for showing that to us. Of course. Just remember, you could always try pulsators to get rid of the cartridges of hangers. It's on the list. Well, it's on the list of things I'm probably going to end up trying eventually. Yeah, thought it up, built it. Yeah, that's all. Very nice. What do we call this then? I, uh... Modular hanger units? Yeah, something like that, or hanger cartridges. Those are almost cartridges. kind of what they are. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what they are. It is, it is what they are, yeah. Because of the fact And you can literally just in. make... Yeah, you could literally just make a single hanger to house a fighter, right? And yeah. spawn in like six of them. And then that hanger size becomes your standardized hanger size. And you literally, if you can imagine two or three of these boxes in a line, and that's your hanger area. And so, depending on what your loadout is, let's say one of my Helix class uh, fighters, you know, you have one of those in there and then maybe a set of three shuttles and another Helix. You can switch it out to, you know, be a variable of whatever it is that you want. The hard part with this particular style is getting them back out. But it's a really simple thing to tear it down. Yeah, and you can... Because all you do is you set all the symmetry and you go freaking nuts for a couple seconds and you won't delete the ship. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, of course. Oh, I really like that. Oh, yeah. well, well done, mate. I love it. Thanks. All right. Well, with that being said, thanks very much for joining me, Ryden, and uh, for everyone watching. I'll see you next time.